everybody about our first lean breakthrough here in the shop? The, uh, the first lean breakthrough we had was um, we have a transfer company come in. They come in and load salt and take this salt and transfer it to on-site salt bins. One day, Norm and I were sitting in a meeting and we're like, we gotta figure out some way to get these guys to load the truck themselves. So I went out and talked to the driver, went out, um, his name's Pat. Walked up to Pat and said, Pat, do you think you could load this truck? He says, no, I don't think I can do that. I said, why not? He says, well, that's not what I do. I drive truck. I said, okay, what about an incentive? He says, no, I still don't wanna do it. So I turned and I started to walk away. I turned back and said, Pat, you sure you can't do that? He says, you know what, I'll do that for you. So now what this turned into is, now these transfer, the transfer company comes in, loads this truck itself, which keeps me doing what I need to do and keeping the company moving forward. Keeping my guys busy, keeping the projects moving, why not? Now I don't have to go out, get in the machine, stop what I'm doing, lose concentration, get in the machine, bring the machine over, load, it takes about 20 minutes out of my time, which ends up being probably around an hour. I mean, it, you know, lo of losing time with interruptions, interruptions and all That's that. Right. So now they come in, I have their ticket ready. They sign their ticket. They know where they're going. They get in the machine, they load their trucks. I'm only interrupted for a couple minutes maybe. And I don't lose concentrations throughout the day. So when you say you're interrupted, it's only one time in the morning when you look, when you get them organized. No, then they take it over from there, right? Yeah. As soon as they come in, um, I'm interrupted the first time, then then they're out of here. Got it. Okay. So in the old way, we used to have one guy working while two guy while one guy was watching. Correct. And but the biggest thing was how many times would it interrupt you every day? Oh jeez, it it could be up in as many as twenty times a day. Depending on how many loads, and how many guys are here, who, how many trucks to load, and with you managing the team that you do, when, when you're deep in thought, sequencing events, scheduling, how long does it take to get, get back to that original train of thought before you're interrupted? Oh, it, it's an easy 20 minutes. Okay. So 20 minutes times 16 loads a day, you said? That's a lot of time. So, and, <laughs> and, and, so lean, did that make your job easier? Or I'm sorry, not that job, let's say stress. How, did it, how would you say it did for stress? It lowered my stress, I'd say, to less than half. Because when it was me doing it, I'd be, stop everything I'm doing, go out, do it, and then I've lost concentration, now I'm stressed up because I stopped what I'm doing, and I get it back to all that. And keep in mind, this only happens on, predominantly, when only hauling salt is on days it's snowing. Sure. So on the hardest days, it makes your job exponentially harder. Sure. So I'd say lean gave, made it significantly easier, or am I putting words in your mouth? Oh, no, it makes it significantly easier. Okay. And I'm, I'm excited to be moving on with this, the whole lean project. Awesome. Thank you so much, and, well, and congratulations. That's a, that's a phenomenal uh, breakthrough, our first one. Thank you. That's great. Thank you.